Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the best time to buy and sell stock to problem. Say you have an array, for which the i-th element is the price of a given stock on the i. Design an algorithm to find the maximum profit. You may complete as many transactions as you like, that is, buy one and sell one share of the stock multiple times. Note, you may not engage in multiple transactions at the same time, that is, you must sell the stock before you buy again. Okay. So, example number one, this is the input, this is day zero, day one, and so on. And this is the price at day zero, seven, the price at day, uh, day one is one, the price at day two is five, and so on. So, here, um, the maximum profit that you can get is seven. So, you can buy on day two, and then you can sell on day three, and you get four, and then you can buy on day four, and then you can sell on day five and you get three. So four plus three is seven. So as you can see, you want to buy low and sell high. And this problem is very similar to the previous problem, but there's a slight difference. Here you can complete as many transactions as you like. You can buy one and sell one share of the stock multiple times. So this is the main idea here as many transactions as you like. Before it was only one transaction, but in this part, part two, you can complete as many as you want, as long as you follow this rule. Before you buy again, you have to sell. So first you buy, then you sell, and then you buy, then you sell, and so on. So how can we solve this problem? Well, if you pay attention, we want to maximize the profit. So you want to buy low and sell high. So in order to solve this problem, we can consider the next day. If the price of the next day is higher than the price of today, so if the price of tomorrow is higher than the price of today, then I buy today and sell tomorrow, and that's going to allow me to make money. And in order to maximize, I have to do that. I have to check if the price of the next day is going to be bigger than the price of today. If that's the case, then I buy today and sell tomorrow. And I continue doing that. And that's going to maximize the maximum profit. That's going to maximize the profit. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, if prices equals equals null or prices that length is less than or equal to one, return zero the maximum profit would be zero. If the array is null or I don't have enough elements, then I return zero as the maximum profit. Then integer max profit gets a value of zero. Initially, I make the assumption that the maximum profit I can make is zero. So I need to iterate through the prices array and I have to consider the next day, every iteration. So I'm going to have four integer i gets a value of zero. i is less than prices that length minus one plus plus i. Why do I say prices that length minus one? Because I want to consider the next day every iteration, so I don't want to go out of bounds. Okay, so I'm going to say if prices sub i plus 1 is greater than prices sub i, what does that mean? It means that the price of the next day is higher than the price of today. So because I want to maximize my profit, I want to buy today and sell tomorrow. So I can say max profit plus equals prices so buy plus one minus prices so buy so I buy today and then I sell tomorrow because the price is higher tomorrow I make money and I add it to the maximum profit so by the end of the iteration I just return the maximum profit and that's gonna maximize the maximum profit because I can complete as many transactions as I like and uh, but I have to make sure that that I sell the stock before I buy again. 
So I can buy one and sell one share of the stock multiple times. So I'm gonna run the code. It seems to work perfectly. I'm gonna submit a solution. All right, this is working perfectly. One millisecond faster than 99.10% of Java online submissions. So the time complexity is big O of n, where n is the length of the array prices or the prices array. Please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.